Welcome, welcome to Sunday from Dornoch. Whether you're a regular or have just happened by, whether you are a person of firm faith or simply exploring faith's possibilities, you are very welcome. Stay a while to listen and to join in. Stay to find space to be loved, excited, challenged. Come just as you are to meet the one who always is. Listen now to a passage from the Bible, a passage which is probably one of the best known. A passage which has been sung and read across centuries, millennia even. Listen now to the words of the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That is such a poetic piece of writing, isn't it? So familiar to so many and so comforting in its familiarity. Very much a turn to portion of scripture, particularly when people are finding times hard. I'm not sure I can even begin to imagine all the sick rooms, for example, that this psalm has been recited in, all the churches it has been sung in. I should imagine that this is something that has been heard everywhere, from prison cells to classrooms, to all sorts of homes and in all sorts of situations, speaking as it does, does words of peace and comfort and hope and promise. I remember reading an article by a journalist for The Times. She was writing about a very personal battle with depression. And she said that in the dark, and desperate sleepless moments in the middle of the night when she felt utterly alone. It was the words of this 23rd Psalm that came into her head and she would let the words tumble over and over in her mind until they brought her peace. In private, in secrecy, and in public, this psalm has helped to shape and reshape individuals and communities throughout the whole of the world. How come? Well, there is just something about the richness of the pictures that this psalm paints. We personally may not know too many shepherds, but we can still grasp what the writer is getting at and as the psalm unfolds, we can see in our mind's eye the soft green pastures he refers to. We can see and we can hear the sound of cool, refreshing streams. 
And every one of us will know the unnerving, scary darkness of shadowy places. And then the notion of overflowing cups and laden tables and a forever with God offers a hope that is just so, so full of promise. This psalm is like a bite-sized gospel. If you want to know what God is like, or if you ever need to remind yourself of what he's about, then it's this psalm you need to turn to. Within its six short verses, we are reminded that God is always with us and that God cares both for and about us. We're reminded that God provides for us, guides our feet, offers us a place to rest, and leads us to find stillness and calm that's refreshing to our very souls. And that's just the first two verses. God also nourishes and restores us, so this psalm tells us. God walks with us in the shadows and won't ever let us be lost or beaten. God fights for us. He protects us and he defends us. But there's even more still. In this Psalm 23, full of comfort, even more marvellously, God chooses to anoint us as his very own and promises that his lifelong love and care will pursue us all the days of our lives. In fact, not just pursue us, that love will actively chase after us all the way through this life and all the way through eternity. Wow, just wow. No wonder the journalist in her darkest hours let these words tumble over and over because they are beautiful. They are utterly inspired and inspiring. They are so freeing and oh so touching. So, so what if what if we lived letting these words influence the kinds of things that we say and we do? What if we lived letting these words change the way we see ourselves and the way that we see the world around us, as well as our place in it? Living, really believing the God promises contained in this psalm is seriously going to change the way that we think about ourselves and about what happens to us. And it is also going to change the way that we look upon other people for whom the Lord is their shepherd too. There are, as I say, only six verses to this psalm. Maybe, maybe we should commit to taking a verse a day this coming week, allowing that one verse to weave its way through our thoughts and words and actions throughout that day, deliberately coming back to it as the day wears on into the night, and then doing the same with the next verse the next day. Living with the words of this psalm like that, I reckon could be life-changing, community-changing, perhaps even world-changing. But then to do that, we have either to know the psalm off by heart, or we have to know where to find it. For those who have been around the church a while, that might not be a problem. And these days, Mr. Google or any other search engine will always help us. But what is really sad 
is that so many people in this Western world have never even heard of the 23rd Psalm, never mind read it or learned it. And as a result, they are totally unaware that they can turn to it. A psalm that offers everyone so much is left to gather dust in a corner while people go through this life thinking, well, thinking that they're on their own, thinking that nobody cares, not knowing that there is actually someone who is able to share the stresses and the strains that they're under, not knowing that there's someone who can help them offer them direction, a moral compass, not knowing that there is someone who has their back and can see a way forward for them, even when they cannot. This little psalm that so many of us take a little bit for granted could be an important part of the key that unlocks the door to helping people as individuals to feel they matter as they are and that they're loved. And it could be the key too to making this world, our society, a better place for everyone. We do need to live its truths but we also need to share its wisdom so that others can find those truths too. So as you walk through this week with a verse, a day of this psalm, have a thought. Is there just one other person that you could give even just one of those verses of this psalm to? You never know. Those words could be just what that person needs to get them through. Amen. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me down to Green, he leadeth me in pastures green. He leadeth me the quiet waters by. My soul he doth restore again and me. To what doth make within the paths of righteousness, within the paths of righteousness, he for his own name say. See you.
in the paths we should take as individuals, as a church, a community, nation and world. Help us to look to you. Encourage us to trust you to lead us well and to take us where we need to be. Thank you. Thank you for being with us in the paths we find ourselves on are dark and frightening or worrying. Thank you for taking our hand and for being the light we need to keep going. We bring you, Lord Jesus, our prayers for others who need to know how close you are, for those facing tough times through poor harvests, for those coping with illness that can't be cured, and for those mourning, bring comfort, Lord Jesus, bring strength and bring hope. We remember before you too, Lord, those with no roof over their head, as well as those who live in fear in their own homes. We bring you those left alone and those who right now feel the darkness of depression. Father God, you hold every individual in your heart, sharing their pain, their despair, walking with them through every dark valley. May they know how close you are and feel your hand upon them. And help us all, we pray, to find the courage to let you anoint us, to let you fill our cups full to overflowing. Surround us, we pray, with the warmth of your presence and bless us in your name. Then help us to carry that blessing in all we say and do, to all those who share this world with us. These things we ask in the name and for the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Someone gave me a shepherd's crook. But go now knowing that the real shepherd, the true shepherd, goes with you to look after you, to care for you, to help you, comfort you, and to challenge and inspire you. Go in his love to share that love and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and be with all those whom you love this day and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>